Hey YouTube, it's Corey coming at you with my week 52 update from VSG Surgery that I had in Cancun, Mexico on March 2nd, uh, 2012. So today is my one year surgery Um I cannot believe that this year has gone by so quick and I've had such great results. Um, it's kind of surreal for me. Um, so let me start off with my numbers and then I'll get into a little bit of how I'm feeling. So... Today, I weighed in at 224. Um, this is my all-time low that I can ever remember. Um, so that's a five-pound loss this week. Last week, I weighed in at 229. So that makes it a grand total since I started my weight loss journey back in October of 204 pounds. Um, and of that, 131 came after VSG surgery. Um, again, I had my surgery in Cancun, Mexico. So last night, I... Uh, posted a little comment on Facebook because not a lot of my friends nor my family knew that I had um, had surgery. So it was kind of a, a little bit of a burden. Um, kind of felt like I was somewhat living a lie um, to some people, but in the same aspect, it's my journey, um, my story, and I chose who I wanted to know and if they asked I told I never really hid anything from anyone but I always kind of had that feeling in the back that maybe I was lying to people um but then the more I look back at it um it is my business and I wanted to wait a week a year uh before I said anything to anyone um that didn't know because I mean it's kind of as a you know if someone asked I would definitely tell them and explain what happened or what I was doing and you know, where I was and where I've been and why I decided to have the surgery. Um, again, I decided to have the surgery because I weighed 428 pounds and my insurance had denied me and I had type 2 diabetes, I had high cholesterol, I had, uh, I was taking two different kinds of medication for diabetes, cholesterol, high blood pressure medication, and I am... 32 years old. Um, so it was kind of like an eye opener for me to get with the program and start losing weight and do whatever I needed to do. Um, so that's where I started looking up alternative places to have surgery and I ended up doing it through Ready Through a Change and went to Cancun, Mexico. I would go again tomorrow. I wish I would have done this five years ago. Um, so that's where I am with that. So, I uh, posted a little comment on Facebook. I'm glad I did that, and um, a lot of good positive feedback from that. So, it was good. Um, so, the five pounds. So, I'm a year out. I'm kind of like, you know, I thought my weight was kind of done for a while. Um, it's probably because I haven't been, like, really good with eating this past couple of weeks. Uh, this week, anyways. Um my assistant in Savannah decided to put in a resignation and things were kind of going hectic the last couple of days she was there and yeah it was just a mess so she decided to leave and then the owners are like no we want her to stay and then I'm like you know it's it isn't going to be proactive to keep someone that doesn't want to be here this was her second time trying to quit so yeah if anyone's looking to be a general manager of a hotel in Savannah Georgia please look me up <laughs> um <clears throat> so yeah I have been just like crazy busy trying to get things for the hotel, trying to get the owners to put some money into it, and just trying to get everything going where it needs to go. Um, so, yeah, um, people kind of give me hell because sometimes I like will eat popcorn as a meal. Sorry, Kirk. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you like what my meals have been for like lunch the last day or two. Sunflower seeds, Frito Lay's ranch um calories are 180 for the whole bag and the only real bad problem is is the sodium is 1850 milligrams for the whole bag so that's probably not so great um but it keeps me busy and i forget to eat and like literally this last couple of days i have totally totally been so busy that I would forget to drink water, I would forget to, you know, grab something, and it was late, it was like 10 o'clock, and I'm like, I need to eat something. Um, so that didn't help, but in the same aspect, I really need to stay focused on remembering to get something in, and not grabbing a donut, because the breakfast is being put away, and that's the quickest thing I can get, and not 
and forget to track it. Um, so that's probably been the hardest this past week because I usually come when breakfast is already done, so I'm not tempted or want any of that stuff. Um, and it's just a continental, so it's not like it's anything major and there's no protein on the bar, so it's mainly cereal, toast, juice, and the waffles, but the waffles are good too, and I did eat a waffle. Like a half of a waffle. Um, but again, you can't deprive yourself of everything with this surgery. I mean, you have to eat some things or what's the point of, you know, living, I guess. So I just choose to put better options or have better options. Um, so yeah, bananas. Um, first time I've had a banana since, um, surgery. And I know it's kind of weird, but I used to have bananas all the time because I would get Charlie horses and cramps in my legs. Um, Especially when swimming, um, I would get, like, Charlie horses in my toes. Yeah, I haven't had any Charlie horses, knock on wood, knock on wood, um, since I've had surgery. Um, so I haven't really had a banana in a long time. So I ate a banana the other day, and it triggered something in my stomach, or my gallbladder, or something. Um, so, yeah. And it did it twice, and I did I had two bananas over the week, and something about the banana um, made me feel like I had pain in my gallbladder area, and I haven't had that kind of pain in probably six months, so I stopped touching the bananas, like, no more bananas. So, I used to take them all the time for the potassium aspect, but I don't, you know, I haven't had any cramps or anything, so I just was craving a banana, and then really was kind of regretting eating it after. And especially the second time when the same thing kind of came. So, yeah, not a, a big thing. And thanks for all your comments about, you know, sleeping on the right side or left side since surgery. Um, I, mine still is the left side. Some days it's okay. Uh, other days I don't even like to sleep with my arm on my side because it's just uncomfortable for whatever reason. Um, so, just one of those random things. Um... Thank you for all my new subscribers, and, you know, thanks for all the shout-outs to, uh, uh, VSG Kurt and, oh gosh, I totally blanked on the other one's names, but, um, you know, I'm glad you all watch my videos, thank you for watching them, um, something Gur. sorry, 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 I'll probably totally remember after, um, but thank you for watching my videos, I look forward to your guys' videos every week, um, I did watch my first video that I ever made. Um, it was two days prior to my surgery. Sorry if you watched it. It's like delayed talking. Um, it's annoying. Um, you know, I don't want to say I wish I could do it all over again because I've come too far. I never want to go back. <laughs> I never want to do that first video again. Um, and I think I'm still going to continue to do my videos every week. Um, I have a two. I, I have an hour drive to work at least twice a week um, when I come to the Savannah property. So there's no excuse for me not to be able to do my videos. So I want to continue to do my videos. Um, I think it's a great accountability tool for me. Um, and a lot of people, they get to the year out and then they kind of stop or they start and stop. And I think I really want to continue doing them. Um, to me, not that I have, like, hundreds of subscribers like other people. I have, like, 102. Um, so, I'm not any of the people that have, like, hundreds of people and, like, thousands of views. Because I'm not. I'm just me. I have a few followers. And I'm glad I can help and answer any questions that they may have. Um, but at the end of the day, I want to document this and help anyone that I can. Because that is the reason why I got into doing this. Um... I haven't found any haters yet. I mean, I'm kind of very non-political and, you know, you do what you want. I don't believe in censorship and, you know, I say what I want and if you don't like it, you know, door swings both ways. So that's the way I look at it. You can unsubscribe just as fast as you did subscribe. So I don't, it doesn't bother me one way or the other. Um, cause there's some slack, I guess, within the community with some videos and I'm just like, what's it matter? I mean, I enjoy the other people's videos, whether they're controversial or whatever. Um, I like to watch the videos. I like to see how the people are doing and how they are. They're kind of like a family to me, even though I don't know them. But I talk to a few of them on Facebook, and we talk on the phone. Um, I'm Ish424. I mean, you know, I look forward to her videos, and I watch a lot of people's videos. But 
the busier I get, the less time I have to respond to videos. And, um, Belinda, oh gosh, I forgot everyone's names today. I'm so blanking out. And then I have them written down normally, but I forgot. Um, but I, I, I follow everyone's videos and I just don't get as much time to comment. And half the time I don't get a chance to respond to comments because I'm usually on my phone or I uh, am not at my other property. So I don't have my computer and I don't use the hotel's computers to uh, get on Facebook. So, <laughs> um, anyways, you know, I try to keep up with everyone and I hope everyone has a great week. Um, you know, go go strong, go home, go hard, however the saying is. Like, I'm just happy I'm a year out. Um, I watched my first video and I almost don't recognize myself, but, you know, you still have that mental aspect that it's in the back of your head. Like, sometimes I walk by a mirror, I'm like, oh, who's that? And then there's other times I'm like, Jesus, I feel like I am still 400 pounds. Um, I, f I feel like I look like I'm 400 pounds, even though I'm not. Um, that's definitely something that's going to take time. Um, I'm also not going to the gym because I have been like, still with the hip brucitis, so it's been better, um, that I've been over here and haven't really been walking, so I'm hoping once I get back to my home property that I will be able to start back up at the gym and start walking. Starting to stay lighter longer, so I look forward to doing all that. But again, I hope you all have a great week. If you follow me on my fitness pal, um, it's Corey J. Cook, um, same with, uh, Facebook, you can find me on there under Corey J. Cook. Um, yeah, so, you know, y'all take care, have a great week, thanks.